warning the bullshit you're about to hear is going to be explicit if you have fucked up horrible feelings about life skip us but if you're okay with laughing at yourself and being cool then cool continue watching this fucking video bitch and we'll see you at the end when you watch the next one right after or even before i don't give a fuck but your mama she hot give her my number so i can give it to bear love you Hello, you ready to listen? Okay, cool. Welcome to the AYFS podcast. Uh, starring uh, me here, Mr. Force Bear, and then we have a uh, concept list here, and the adorable Mookie's ninety three on the side there. And this, what's up, uh, Tom Brokaw? Or, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I like that intro. All right, we're done about today. Seriously, what's up? <laughs> well, we were just talking about uh, songs that you normally hear at parties. Um, but people are trying to cancel them. So it was Suavemente. That was the first one that started it. They compared it to, you know, death with your aunt and your aunt's twerking on you to WAP. And, you know, I get it, you know, but like I said, like black people, like we hear that song and that's us. Yes. Yeah, that's, it. <laughs> that's us. I have a question though. When you cancel the songs in like another language, do you cancel in that language or it doesn't cancel? Ooh. I shall, I just, let me be honest. I don't know how to say cancel in Spanish. Mm. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say you speak in Spanish. <laughs> Here's the thing. So I have, I have trouble translating. So I, I can learn a language and once I'm started, I, once I start speaking it and I'm, you know, doing it, I can do it, but I can't switch back and forth and I can't translate for people. That is a fucking talent. Yeah. And the skill. You gotta start like learn how to think in another language before you right. try to That's hard. Yeah, like I asked my girl, like, cause she's bilingual. I'm like, you know, she probably speaks English, but when she's at home, she has to speak Spanish to her parents. And sometimes at work too. And I'm like, you know, when you're like, what are your, like, how do you think? For me, my thoughts are obviously in English. And for her, my thoughts are in Spanish. I'm like, that's kind of cool how, like, for her, it's mostly just Spanish. I know there's some people out there who don't actually have an inner voice at all. Um, when you wear looks, you don't even have like an image of like who, like kind of like what you're reading. You just kind of like just say the words. You're like, all right, cool. Can I um? Can I ask you like both of you? So I started with you, Milkies. Like, what when you read? Like, what do you hear or see? But the kind of thing, like, so like to put it in perspective. Um, so I'm, it just happened to be like right there in front of me. So like my books and the first one I see is Harry Potter. So like for me, for Harry Potter, I can at least try to match up like the single I'm reading compared to like the actual movie. But then there's obviously parts that they don't count in the book or from the book over to the movie. So for those, you kind of just have to like make it up and make it appear. So like for that, it's kind of almost like a cart set. Mm. Cause that kind of helps like correlate it. But like for the majority, my thoughts are kind of like actual people, but a lot of times I'll, it'll get mixed in with like random ass, like cartoon images or movies and shit like that. Gotcha. What about you, Bear? I mean, cause you're also about the same English major uh, and that's what you, that's what you do. So. English major in this major. This thing about this paper is all of cop. Shoot the fuck. I know, right? But I know for like 87, like chapters of fan fiction. So I guess that equates out. Um, <laughs> anyway, back to the, what I think about it. Um, for reading and such, I probably imagine most of the time I like to think the same thing as like Luke's where you kind of imagine the whole scenario and such. Because usually when, you know, you read a lot of stories, you just type to keep in the details. If people describe how the, you know, environment looks like, I like to keep that in my head while I'm reading and then follow from there. So it kind of really helps you really figure out when you're like, um, that doesn't really go well or that that kind of written a little off because you're like, well, this is making sense. But yeah, it's kind of how I like to read in that section. Uh, it also changes though when you read other languages because I try to try to read like them speaking in that language if I understand what it is. Like that happens in Japanese where it lets me all of a sudden Japanese in my head and I'm like, well, but you know, it's, uh, it's more kind of like a imaginative group. So when you write your Dragon Tales erotica, 
<laughs> yeah, it's, it's not I'm pretty sure I've seen that somewhere. Oh no, it exists. If I said it, rule thirty four. Yeah. If I just said it, somebody else thought of it. Let's be real. People, if you like, hold on, people. If you do not know what rule thirty four is, and you're not about that life, do not look it up. No. And are you going to be curious and be like, oh, now I really got to look it up because it's told me not to? I am saving your brain because <laughs> when you close your eyes, that shit's going to be there. Do not like, what's, what's go. Like you go, yo, we'll act. No, she opened the tab. It's over. Because once you go black, you end up in a wheelchair, but still, right. it's a white chick reference. Oh, you just do not want to like open up that can of worms because then you will never be able to look at anything in life the same. Like, I'll legit, I'll I'll first, I'll the first thing you'll know is that you'd be like, oh, look at that cartoon. There's points. Like, hold on. I'll hear. <laughs> I was out at was the, the, um, the park, not too far from my house, and in the south, too. And I saw some furries. Yeah. And I was just like, it was just weird because like you wouldn't associate that South Furry. So it's quick. So like that like other places, but it's like just chilling apart, like in their little costumes. And this one dude, he, he definitely was somebody's like dad or grandfather. He was like, oh, I really want to take photos of all you guys. So he was like up there just like taking photos of the shit. And I was just like, yeah, I guess shit. Furries, I mean, most furries aren't like what people like imagine them to be. It's one of those things where it kind of got out of hand with what people heard online. Because I'm sure there were furry parties and things that were weird, but most furries are literally just dressed up as um, like animals, like big ca cartoon animals, I guess you can call it. And that's just, it's just the way of life. It's not like they don't do anything special. But yeah, so I, I, I think that culture is a very interesting one though like because it's it, it, like how do you even get into that they're expensive mm -hmm. yeah. it has to be custom made almost to fit you it starts with a high school mascot yeah <laughs> yeah there's actually a mascot. mascot yeah there's actually a guy right now um who's just dressed up as like a japanese bear walking from la to new york to like brings money for charity oh bill bear why, why aren't you using your platform <laughs> Helping your brothers. Because <laughs> Bear is in prison. Like, look, he got moved already into the infirmary, so that's why the new background. It really looks like the infirmary, though. <laughs> <laughs> but oh yeah, going back to it. So yeah, when um, it's interesting because I, when I read growing up, I heard other people's voices in my head. So because you know how I used to do popcorn reading in like school, I other people would read out loud. <laughs> Like was the that, voices in my head would be the people in the class. Like even when I was just reading for fun. <laughs> what about if you you run across that uh, that one voice from that one kid that can't read? Does it just start no, no, no. <laughs> no, it is worse when you always want the one kid that needs to clear their throat. And they're just reading and you can just feel that shit and you're just like, bruh, clear, clear. <laughs> stop doing that. Just stop and clear your damn throat. Seriously. Drink some water beforehand. If you know you're going to get caught on at some point, just down some water. Don't be sitting up there like, oh, yeah, hey, man, we don't, like, no, no. You sound constipated and you make my throat hurt. <laughs> sound like a robot. But yeah, though, like, so as I got, sound like, oh, God. <laughs> I thought I was patching on. <laughs> oh shit anyway it's like that no smoking commercial <laughs> as, awesome. as i got older though um once i uh once i got out of like not out of school but like once like i got out of eighth grade into high school that actually stopped i think it's because we didn't really do that anymore in high school that wasn't a thing in high school anymore um and then once it started once it's once that stopped um, I just start reading and then once I start reading, like after a few paragraphs, my mind goes somewhere else. So my mind starts visualizing and putting things together, like almost like having TV in your mind, basically. That's essentially what happens. Um, and mine isn't cartoon. Mine should be like real. <laughs> so it's my mind. Well, you know, y'all should have stick figures. I think it started as like in high school. That's what it started as. And then it, it oh, got. Hold on. Don't you tell y'all stick figures in your head? My dick figures? No, hidden figures. There's a hidden figure inside me now. <laughs> you nasty. Watson, can I have my finger? No, you cannot. Anyway, topic for today is I just must do a little trivia. I found some trivia online and I was like, you know what? Might as well go for it. See if we can actually do this. Uh, so this is, this is random shit. Uh, I picked entertainment, so I have no idea what's going to come up. 
Uh, so we're gonna we gonna see. All right, and I'll, um, I, what I'll do is I'll start. I start off with Mookie's. I'm gonna see what your answer is. All right. Oh, God. Which entertainer who died in 2003 at the age of 100 was nicknamed Old Ski Nose? Oh, Ski Nose. That was like a name you give somebody who loves cocaine, like Curtis Blow. Like, oh, I like I Give me the op <laughs> All right, go ahead and give me some options. So, Bing Crosby, Charlie Chaplin, Bob Hope, or George Burns? It's gonna be the first one or the fourth one. What's this? Bing Crosby. Bing Crosby. You gonna say Bing Crosby? Yeah. Let's see. Nope. It's Burns. <laughs> they don't actually give you the answer. I think they wait till you actually get it right. <laughs> Fucking can they lost? All right. Dude. What, what's Look. your What's your guess? I was at Burns. Burns. All right. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Charlie Chaplin and Bob Hope are your only options. It's got to be Chaplin. Bob Hope, because Charlie Chaplin has been dead. How long has been dead? Well, yep. And again, was doing was Bob, Bob Hope. Fuck <laughs> you. Don't be like, thank you. You got it wrong. No, I'm saying Charlie Chaplin has been like bit silent. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. No, that, yeah, right. you're absolutely right. All right, yeah. there. Uh, which name links Oakley, the cowgirl, and Lennox, the singer? And. Your choices are Annette, Annie, Avril, or Amy. What's the Avril? I don't know any of this stuff. So. Nope, you're absolutely wrong. All right. All right, Mookie. What was the name again? Hold on, what's the question again? Which name links Oakley, the cowgirl, and Lennox, the singer? Is it yeah. Annette, Annie, or Amy? Annette. Nope. The fuck? That was Amy then. Nope. <laughs> it's your favorite wow. name. Annie. Annie. <laughs> oh. Oof. You know I had to go there. Fuck you, boost. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> this is why he's this is this is what you get for being a lovable asshole. Right. Get the lovable stalkers, dude. Ah, oh, bear, oh. bear with the Fuck. joke. Oh. Fuck. Oh. That's like the first time Bear has actually said some shit towards me. Yeah, I think he's scared of you secretly. <laughs> All right, so Mookie's, which TV family's indoor plants included an African strangler called Cleopatra? Was it the Osbournes, the Partridge family, the Adams family, or the Swiss family Robinson? Adams. That sounds like some shit, yeah. You, yeah. yeah, you got it. There we go. I love my Finally, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Lots so, of uh, Bear, mm. I, I think I know this one, actually. Which country singer, uh, country music singer, did Nicole Kidman marry in June 2006? Was it Kenny Chesney, Keith Urban, Garth Brooks, or Lee Current again. What's the second one? Keith Urban. Yeah. Keith Urban. It's all Keith Urban. I'm not really in country, so I don't know. But you a country nigga. Iron is them. You are absolutely right. It was Keith Urban. Oh, shit. Okay. Cool. I knew it wasn't Garth Brooks because Garth Brooks. Mm, not Garth Brooks. His wife's for a while. What's up? Mm -hmm. Damn, boo. You make my head go round and round when you go down, when you when you go down. <laughs> Lord, I never even put my headphones on. <laughs> I know you can definitely hear that. Ah, you're singing the song that's in his headphones. <laughs> Hilarious. That's funny. That's actually the original or the floor rider version? I don't know. He, 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 he ran away. <laughs> All right, uh, let me see, Mookie. 1968 Barbra Streisand film, what? Funny, sassy, silly, or happy? What girl? Mm-hmm. Funny girl. He, you got that. I, I, how? How did you know that? 
I think 1968, and they were they weren't really the idea of a funny girl was not very common. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go back in time. If she was called a silly girl by like the mid 70s, that means she was at like you know, oh, uh, call it like 50, like Club 50, Club 52, or something like that, out in New York. Like yeah, she was doing them shits. That's when it was all lines of shit, and didn't nobody believe in condoms and shit. Yeah. Still don't. All right, Bear. <laughs> it's been with this. The song. Thank you, prep, bitch. The song Edelweiss comes from which musical? The Sound of Music, Mary Poppins, Miss Saigon, or Oliver? Oh, no, it's okay. Was Saigon's? Miss Saigon's? Edelweiss or Edelweiss. Edelweiss. It's a, it's a German word. Oh, then I know the answer. I have a feeling I know the answer too. Like when I said when I said it, I was like, "Oh, that makes sense." When I realized it was jazz, I mean, it's interesting. I'd probably go with a. Mm, I'm probably Mary Poppins, but bitch, what the? <laughs> no, <laughs> no I was gonna say sound of music. Yeah, that's my. That was my guess. Right, and I was right. <laughs> Remember the the whole World War Two thing? Not, I don't. I've like, never understood that. I just knew it was like German. Like, yeah. fuck that. God damn. Yeah, yeah, right. Messed up our score. Uh, mm. It was already. I'm gonna score too. All right, Mookies. What's up? Illegal Aliens, quote unquote, is a 2007 movie starring which of these former Playboy playmates? Jenny McCarthy. Pamela Anderson, Anna Nicole Smith, Carmela Desic, ooh, Carmela Decaseri, 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 Decaseri. Pam Ann would be the only op- option I can think of. Pam Anderson, okay. Yeah. Nope. Wow, I'm the, I have no clue. Jennifer? It's not your uh, bear. It goes to bear now. <laughs> it's a little personal. Jenny McCarthy? Mm. Nope. Carmela, whatever. De De Caseri. De Caseri. Sorry, Carmela. Nope. <laughs> and Anna Nicole, Nicole Smith. Wow. Wasn't she dead before the end? I actually don't know. I don't know when she died. I just know that she was all over tabloids. I had no idea who she was. Like, actually. <laughs> Sorry. I feel so, I feel bad for you. because I, I should have lost it that evolved her. No, she LD'd. Uh, oh, wow. Oh. I remember the lawsuit between her baby daddy and the person that was, like, taking care of it. was, like, a whole mouse over custody over the daughter. Her Damn. daughter. I didn't remember. This was that. that was a long-ass court case with cameras. It was pretty interesting, out too. Fuck. All right, Bear. Mm-hmm. Which actor and famous Scientologist was born in Syracuse, New York in 1962? Was it Tom Arnold? Tom Selleck, Tom Cruise, or Tom Hanks? Tom Cruise is the one I know. Thank you. That's an was, he born, was he born in 1962? Yeah, that's a bad one. I was 15 years old. Oh, you're right. Okay. I, sh- I actually have no idea. I, I, I'm sure yeah, that. Tom Hanks is not a certain Tom is from, mm. but I've heard at least. We don't know that. <laughs> they secret about a lot of shit. They really lie right. about that. Not when it comes to like, celebrities. Yeah. They- All right. Mookie's. Oh, wow. You better get this right, or Derek will hate you. Boom. Star Trek's Catherine Janeway was the captain of which fictional ship? Dauntless, Voyager, Enterprise, or Nautilus? And I actually know this answer. So I have no fucking clue. Derek don't hate you. <laughs> I'm a Star Wars fan and not so much a Star Trek. I've seen some Star Trek shit. Not a lot. Like, I've seen some of the first episodes, too. Mm-hmm. Uh... I kind of also Voyager because I don't. No, 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 not Voyager. Dauntless. Yeah, because I, I just don't fucking know. Watching Voyager, I'm be pissed. Nope, that's not it. All right, Bear, which one do you think? Voyager, Enterprise, or Nautilus? Maybe Voyager. Let's go for it. It was Voyager. Fuck me. first I could, like, no, nah, I was shot in the dark. No, uh, nah, that's fine. All right, which pianist or pianist, Bear, this is for you, 
and soul singer died in Beverly Hills in June 2004 at the age of 73. Don't even give him an option. He ought to know the answers already. Oh, Lord. Shot in the dark. Get the answer. Because once he said the year, I already knew who it was. Hmm, it's so cool. I don't think I was remotely paying attention to anything at the time. Oops. It's in here. Let me dead on this. Oh, wait, this is good shit. Let me get a pull up. What am I saying? <laughs> no, do not give him an option. Don't guess. Can I give him a hint? No, because a hint's a dead giveaway. No, 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 no. This won't be. Okay. There was a movie about this person. I love that this is a... Do you want me to repeat the question? Maybe that'll, that'll drag your memory. Yeah, it's good. Which pianist or pianist and soul singer died in Beverly Hills in June 2004 at the age of 73? Wait. Don't focus on 73. That's not going to matter. No, no, no. I'm saying that. Wait. I, I just realized, I just realized you said soul singer. I was like, wait a minute. Fuck. Um... Oh, hold on. This, this is comedy. Like, <laughs> your comedy. Oh. Let's for a little longer. Just tap out, motherfucker. Just tap No, I won't tap out. I'll just say some random bullshit. Give me a oh name. Oh, my God. I'm going to go with the old... I'm going to just say probably Ray Charles. <laughs> and that is correct. <laughs> I was like, how did you not just what get that? Right? Now, the year, the year wasn't the reason why I got it. It was just because it said pianist and soul singer. And there's not many that you can just identify. That, but also, I, like, I didn't, I didn't register soul singer. I was like, wait, it won't work. Yeah, the soul singer. I, out. But then once I heard 2004, I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. Ray died actually before the movie was even released. He was, it was still in like, uh, post production, like they were fin adding the finishing touches before the movie actually released, and so he never got a chance to see the finished product. As far as I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. So correct on the first attempt, five out of ten. So we got a fifty percent. <laughs> <laughs> there are more though, so we're gonna do one more because uh, right. I think we got time for that. Um, uh, let's see. I'll let us choose general knowledge, dictionary, history, food and drink, geography, or science and nature. I would only say history if it was like U.S. history, but I don't trust that shit. So yeah. <laughs> it's going to be like some Greek mythology. Why you got it? Just go for it. Fuck it. You said history. I don't know fucking history. Shit. Well, we're, going, we're going for it. Boom. Let's go somewhere we don't fucking know. So All right. Mookies. Let's be fast. The Hiroshima bomber aircraft was named the Enola what? Your options are happy, mean, gay, angry. I want to say happy. This is the 40s. So I don't think they're using gay. Yeah, I mean, they, could have been. they were still using J by that way. They were still just calling people J's. So, but happy is wrong. Bear. You got what mean or gay or angry. What's the gay one? Pretty sure that one. Hey, that is correct. Yep. I just like find some bullshit like that is happening. <laughs> I mean, so basically, there's, there's no like so you was you was like halfway there because either it was either gay or happy. <laughs> no, no, like, this one's because I have a hair and bear clearly does not. <laughs> what are you trying to say? I mean, bear looks like the end of a rubber eraser on a pencil. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> That's stupid. You know, the Enola Gay, do you know, we want to know why they named it that? Why? Because the pilot was alone and gay. Get it? Enola? Mm -hmm. Enola, <laughs> Enola backwards is, is alone. Okay, whatever. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I got it. Take your dad off to shove him right up your motherfucking ass. <laughs> Bear, which American president was assassinated in a theater? I'm not even going to give you the option. Wow. <laughs> oh, you can get this <laughs> off. <laughs> By who? Who did it? Who did it? Mm, John Boots. I don't know. John Wilkes Boots, bitch. Yep. <laughs> All right. Mookie is the. I don't mean to remember the name of the <laughs> Queen Elizabeth II's paternal grandmother was who? The Princess Royal, Queen Mary, 
Queen Alexandra or the Duchess of Kent? Queen Mary also happened to be a uh, descendant of Vlad the Impaler. Queen Mary, all right. You are correct. Wow. Well, Can I ask why you know that? <laughs> well, Vlad the Impaler? Of, I mean, all of that. <laughs> uh, probably only because of Vlad the Impaler. <laughs> no, just because that um, Queen Mary happens to be one of the more popular. It's, they're very, for the queens that they've had in the British Parliament, mm -hmm. they're, they've always been known to be like pretty strong leaders. And so that was the opposite choice. Plus Queen Mary's a very well-known name. There's a ship named after her in Long Beach, um, as well as some other stuff too. But yeah, and the Vlad the Impaler thing, I actually just wanted to today. Oh, yeah. wow. But that, that, like, yeah. <laughs> and the fact that when I was in London, I took a tour of Westminster Abbey and it tells you all about the like different queens and everybody and the kings. Huh are buried there they're like you're literally right there next to their casket damn or the mausoleum or whatever it's like yeah all decorative and shit all right cool bear what did members of the nazi ss have tattooed on their armpits their blood they're fucking fruit, stupid the swastika the double sig rune gaiman notes vor eigen nuts Oh, I should. Fuck you too, bitch. Gaimanus vor Eigenus. Is and they clearly wore this little tramp stamp. Hmm. On their armpit soles. That's just loose. Uh, that would never. No. I saw the stuff. numbing cream in the world. <laughs> I don't know why they put that blood talk there. That's terrible. You what? You watched animes where they do stupider shit. Come on. I mean, yeah. You know, it's like, well, what's the point? But honestly, uh, I mean, the only way that would be useful is if they like blood, like blood transfusions on the spot or some shit. What's your blood type for them? Huh? That's the only reason I would see that. Yeah. Well, that was well, like, close. You got to get through to do that too, right? That's what I'm saying. That's all like they would make sense. So what your, options, uh, your options are: their blood group, the swastika, the double sig rune, or gymnutes vor eigenutes. It's probably this year. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh. I'm going to see what the fuck that is. Nope. Nope. Yeah, probably. Mookies. Hey. Yeah. You're correct. It was their blood group. Don't know why. Because if you're trying to be like, you've needed a blood transfusion and they're in the hospital mm. and you can't ask them, hey, what's your blood type? Check your armpit. Mm. That makes sense. Okay. I just wanted to think the blood one. Never mind. Okay. Right. Plus, you ain't got enough files on there. Like, think about it, especially around men. They didn't have files on people. Nope. I just want to know, racist people, why do you cheer for the people that lost? That's all I just want to know. <laughs> why do you cheer for the people that lost? I like the Raiders. It's the, it's the same reason why they always cheer for the, what do you call those people? Cowboys? Nah. I don't know. <laughs> you know, like, uh, I forgot what the word for it is, but you know, like the Joker and shit, like. Underdog? No, no, no. The Joker isn't like an under. There's another word. The villain and devil's advocate. Huh? No, it's, 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 there, there's a new word for it, and I, I, I don't oh. draw in the blank on it. Edge, edge lord, edge lord. Ah, edge lords. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, Mookie's, which of the following was not a Greek philosopher? You, you called it Aristotle, Socrates, Plato, or Cicero. Cicero. Cotton candy, sweet and low. Let me see your Cicero. That's correct. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> that was Some of these are easy. Files of political theory. I can find out which one's a philosopher. Shit. All right, Bear. In which war did the battles of Sebastopol, Inkerman, and Balaclava take place? Balaclava? I, I don't know. Whatever. Well, Black is not the two, motherfucker. <laughs> that does sound defensive. It does. The Afghan War, the Great War, Napoleonic War, or Crimean War? I'm going to limit this with Napoleonic. All right. Oh, damn. That's it. Yeah, correct. Mookies. Crimea. Damn, Mookies. <laughs> Mr. I don't want to do this because I don't know the answers. <laughs> I'm so dark for a lot of these. <laughs> 
I, well, I got one wrong. See. Your next one was who was Time Magazine's Man of the Year in 1938? Why the oh, fuck Hitler. would you know that? <laughs> oh shit. That actually is an option. Do you want to put it? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> well, I actually knew that one. I actually knew that one. I'm, gonna, five I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna ask you what Tila Tequila might be friends. No, in 1930, <laughs> it was seen as him being a great leader. And so you had the whole mind come thing and all that. And so it, it led to his political rise. And then by the 40, like from the early uh, yeah. the myth for those book before he went crazy. Yeah, <laughs> before the bullshit came in. Okay. Yeah. Although that yeah, stuff is still bullshit. Like, if you actually, like, I've never read it. I've heard, I've read excerpts of it. It's still full of bullshit. Yeah. Bear. Mm. What was abolished in Scotland in 1707 and reestablished in 1999? Is it whiskey, swearing, haggis, or the Scottish Parliament? I have been on my list. I'm probably. It's an interesting answer. I think I know the answer to this one. I won't say. Don't say it, Mookies. I see you. <laughs> you probably know. It. I'm pretty sure. It I'm, I'm just gonna go on and miss the haggis. So I don't know. I'm just kidding. Nope. Nope. Is it pardon? Nope. Bad. Mookies, what, what is it? Mookies, because you go with Parliament, because whiskey, fuck no. There's no way. Ought to be whiskey. Yep, it was Scottish Parliament. <laughs> <laughs> that was my guess because there was something I remember reading something. Scottish people aren't gonna ban whiskey. What the fuck? Did you I remember seeing an article in 1999 about that. I, I for some reason I just it popped in my head for some reason. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. All right, Mookies. In which British city did the process of making stainless steel originate? Mm. Bradford, Leeds, Sheffield, or Birmingham? Sheffield. Fuck. Damn, why do you know these things? Wow. <laughs> Is it because of the nanny? You you like that for <laughs> only No, like, I have no clue. That was a shot in the dark. Yeah. So what is a shot in the dark, people? Bear. <laughs> Which famous Nazi took down Adolf Hitler's Mein Kampf in dictation? Was it Joseph Goebbels? 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 Girl? Oh. Heinrich Himmler? Hermann Goering? I believe is how you pronounce it. And Rudolf Hess. Those are your options. I don't know. It's a Nazi song. I don't know. Let me get that one more time. Sorry, I gotta go. Just sound right. out this shit. Joseph Gables, uh, I think is how it's actually pronounced. Heinrich Himmler, Hermann Goering, or Rud- Rudolf Hess. I don't know, so D. Just Rudolf. You are correct for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> You've gotten all those wrong. That was the only one you got right. Cool. Fucking suck a shit out of that. Shout out to Mookies, though. I don't know why you know some of the shit you know, but you know, since, Only you, child, won game, shit. since you won the game and I just lost the game, um, oh. Mookie, why, you get, you what is it? your million dollar? A million now, dollar hold, on. hold on. All my millennials, guess what? You just lost the game. Mm. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Damn, now I lost. <laughs> <laughs> I won. So, what's your million dollar nigga scheme? Because, you know, I, shit, I'm just really good at this shit. When you're only child people, you just have a lot of time to look shit up. So, um, basically, have you ever seen the movie Chef? Yeah, right, sure. So, Bear, have you seen the movie Chef? I probably have. I just play again. So the viewers who have it, I'm going to give you a quick synopsis without trying to give too much about it. Basically, um, the chef decides to leave the restaurant industry in order to pursue his own thing. And in doing so, he takes a trip to Miami with his son and ex-wife and gets the great idea to just do his own food truck and drive across country selling food and just turns out to be a huge success and make money. Well, I'm decided that the three of us, we're going to do our own food truck. But we will not be selling food. 
Instead, we will be selling wheat. The truck is called We Got You, right? The reason why is because we're going to go make sure we're driving across country and all this too. And we'll make sure that the truck is incognito because we got to drive across state lines with it. And so some states going to be cool. Other states going to be like, nigga, fuck you type of thing. And so we're going to have Derek drive because he is white. And so we could definitely like, <laughs> like not have any issues. Like we're going to be on board with everything like because we need to be able to sell in different states. And so basically, you know, if you have an issue sleeping, we got you. If you got issue, like if you just talking like, man, fuck the world. I just hate my job and my boss. We got a strand called fuck your boss and the people you work with. We like literally going to be there to help you and we're going to be traveling across. So if you want to be a groupie for the weed, you follow us. If not, shit, it's cool. We'll be in the city close to you. But we got you. All right. We got you. Yes, true. It's going to be some across you though. But still, we got you. So basically, just come across and we're going to do this. We're going to make, we're going to be on social and all that. We come up to a city to you type of shit. Yeah, we're going to have tour dates and everything. But at the same time, when you sit up there doing that, concept going to be DJing. <laughs> like I'm always like photographing or DJing and not listening <laughs> because I like, bear bear. What do you want to do a part of the food truck? Bear down for anything. You'll get picky. Like bear, what do you want to do? I really just want to just. Uh, I really wonder about that one. I really would like just so we. I mean, otherwise, exactly. Bear would be up behind the counter helping everybody else. Are you fine? But you need some like security though. Sometimes we cannot get high on supply. Do not. Yeah. I swear to fucking God. <laughs> no, I don't smoke, so I wouldn't do it anyway. Exactly. There we go. And we're not selling edibles, so we cover it. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so we, <laughs> we covered shit. Almost died last time. That's true. We gonna make a shit ton of money. Shit. Think about that. We're gonna make a shit ton of money. Now people are gonna be like, well, Mookies, how you gonna get the uh vehicle? That's easy, people. We just going to a jerkyard, get a roach coach or an astro van and trick it out. <laughs> You gotta go Scooby Doo. We cannot get an Astro Van. Do not. <laughs> we cannot. <laughs> that's that. That's Don't where I put my foot down. Van. I'm with you until the Astro Van. Why? <laughs> we need an Astro Van because you like the Astro Van, or you just go ahead and get the fucking like, actual like Rush Coach food truck. Yeah, let's do that. I'm fine with the Rush Coach, honestly. <laughs> but if push comes to shove, we might have to start out in an Astro Van. No, nigga, we gotta start somewhere. No. What the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? No. Like, We're not doing that. Like money. We're not doing Astro Van. <laughs> What's wrong with you and Astro Vans? Look, there's a story and I'm not telling it yet. I'm not ready. To, I'm not healed enough to talk well, about that. One and when they hit the horn, it's playing like a good on No. <laughs> no. <laughs> exactly. So what the fuck are you complaining about? We're gonna with some time to we're gonna get an Astro Van. Yeah. <sighs> no. <laughs> All right, then you go you gonna bring up the phones to get us a legit van. Either way, we're gonna have some nice. Actually van. It, nowadays Astro Vans are actually more expensive than some food trucks. All right, then we get in the food truck. Actually, why not get an ice cream truck? We can get my ice cream truck. We don't need the refrigeration, but yeah. We, I mean, we could. We could use it for... True. Um, yeah, it is well. I like you that. Know. Especially because we're not going to have a lot of time to, like, in the travels to, like, do shit, you know? That's all. We could, if we had all our food and shit in there, that'd be dope. I mean... We're going to have music. We're going to have good shit. Like, no, it's going to be off the up and up legal or shit. And niggas is going to be in line like crazy to buy this shit. It's going to be selling like crazy. Like, you know what? And we're going to go with like whoever the local Girl Scout, like in that area that sells the least amount of cookies. Also, we'll link it up with them so that way they can sell a shit ton of cookies to you people. Also, like, you know, I think the refrigeration might help. And I don't care who the fuck I'm calling out. My brother in law, for some reason, had vials of the shit in my refrigerator. And oh, oh, I was gonna sleep on that shit. Like that was the that was the fucked up part. Er, er, and it's obvious apparently that the black kid was the one putting vials of weed in the damn. Like, you ain't black. You high left yellow. Shit. Shut up. <laughs> but nah, this nigga had literally had vials of weed in the fucking refrigerator. It's still don't know fucking why. <laughs> there might be a secret because he's into chemistry, which I, I don't. I think I like that slow burn. I, I like know. that slow burn. Shit. Maybe I don't know. Hey, maybe he takes it. He's like, don't install that. Like, can't get it there. So that way, just like a nice little, like a liquid, like, so that way when you roll it, it like stays a little bit better. And the fact too, that you're going to get an extra like high, because you're not even going to get the high from the weed on the install, but on the outside. So that's not like the cryptocron of critolite shit. Hey, <laughs> we have a string called Bear. You know, I'm like, why is it called Bear? 
because after you take a hit of it, you're going to fall into a wall like me here. <laughs> Go find yourself in the forest. Like, where the fuck am I? <laughs> and then we're going to have one strand called Coco Puffs. Shout out to um, uh, Cal Williams. Because remember when the Coco Puffs on top of the refrigerator? <laughs> no, we're calling it Insurgents. I was just going to say Insurgents. <laughs> Dad. Dad and Insurgents. <laughs> we don't know where you're going to wake up. So. Cal Williams, we love you, man. <laughs> so yeah, you know, people, that's the type of shit we gonna do. We're gonna make money. So concept. Are you in or you out? I mean, I'm in until like just we're not doing Astro Van, we're doing Ice Cream Truck. I don't care. Man, you and your, you know what? Are you still I'm gonna, gonna DJ if I'm gonna DJ anyway, might as well have it built into the system already. Sorry, right, I was gonna say we come that's, out here, I'll take you up in the Astro Van. Ask me. Yeah, we're not <laughs> All right, oh, fair, fair. I'm still out. <laughs> I mean, that, the Astro Van is a not this for, for me, but what's on your not this list for today? Man, honestly, I'm starting to run out of shit to put them on not this list. I've seen so much. You like to. Everything was decent. <laughs> All right. Then uh, the best I can put here is going to be, uh, let's see. Honestly, let me see. There's actually one that I do remember that I probably It doesn't have to be an anime, by the way. You just you're just hyper focused on anime. I just really because it's like that's really all I remember. That's like yeah. I mean it could be food, it could be literally like anything. Book. I've run through food, then I'd be pretty fine with that one. Eh? Websites. Websites. Well, I mean, you know, if you unless you're trying to go to the dark side of the internet, don't go to Rule Thirty Four. Like we'll be saying, this podcast, do not do it. You don't want to burn your whole eyeballs in your computer system, still right? That oh, sure all the, the man who got to the eightieth day <laughs> is telling you this. That's probably good. I mean, the other thing you probably would. I mean, all the other websites I can think of are probably already shut down at this point. You know, don't do LimeWire or FrostWire if you get a virus. <laughs> it's just it's just in existence still anymore. Damn. But um, this nigga probably one going back on maps there. <laughs> oh my god, I don't do that evil. <laughs> All right, but uh, probably the one thing I probably say you shouldn't do or you shouldn't go to, but you should actually go to. Shit, some giggles. It's like Space.com. No, 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 no. no. It's just, the <laughs> Listen, let's go down the fucking like the bullshit side of things. But um, no, go don't go to the Darwin Awards. Dot com. Of course, everybody will. This is start going. This is like false advertisement. It's the funniest <laughs> shit. I've seen in my life. So the reason why I, I would recommend you don't do it is because it's pretty much I would probably say Mookie's like favorite site to go to because it's full of all the dumb people that die of dumb reasons and they're all recorded. <laughs> Yeah. So that's pretty much, you know, hey, this guy died so, 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 so put it on their worst. So it's pretty shitty, but it's, it's that's Star Wars. Shit. They, they kind of got like, <clears throat> that kind of is like on Reddit, they have the Herman Cain Award. Mm -hmm. So for people who just saw Herman Cain ran for president in 2012, lost, and then he became a huge Trump supporter, Trump supporter, fuck that dude. So when they had the big rally in the middle of COVID last summer, um, in Tulsa, he was one of the people going. He was an older man and everything. And they all went talking about, yeah, fuck COVID type of shit. We still here in support. And he's black too. And not long afterward, he caught COVID and died. <laughs> so, you know, he was a COVID denier. Okay. I'm throwing it on Reddit. Yeah, too. yeah on Reddit, they have like a whole, let's show you like a whole timeline from like, this is what this person posted. And these are the things they were saying leading up. This is what they started posting when they got to the hospital. And this is what somebody in their family posted when they died. <laughs> yeah, so it's not as detailed as that because that's pretty expensive. Which that's like, yeah, we're doing our homework on this one. This is more of like, we're going to just let you know, here's what happened. That's the election people. But here's the lesson. That's the selection. But here's, the, here's my lesson from that, actually. It's something I, I would say I learned from that. If you detail your life on social media, like, nigga, we can see you. <laughs> Another cat workers joke. Nigga, do you know I can see you? Right. It's like, bitch, I'm looking right at you. <laughs> but that's what I mean. It's like you're post you're posting everything that you do on social media. For what? And I don't need to know your innermost thoughts. I honestly don't give a shit, to be honest. But not only that, is when you talk shit, people gonna make fun of you later on when your shit ends up being divergent from what you actually do and what ends up actually happening to you. So I'm not condoning it because that is fucked up and very morbid and is very depressing, I particularly for their families. I condone it. 
I, you fuck around with the fuck around, you fuck around and get smoked. So you did some dumb shit. Like the people are like nurses, like, oh, I stood up for like my beliefs and not my job. So I got fired because I didn't want to get the shot. And it's like, that was th- you are a nurse. It's, I think it's weird. I think it's very odd how picky we ask them about this because, for example, they're like, oh, there's going to be a passport. Nigga, other people don't want that shit in their country. And you already have to get vaccinated for certain shit when you go certain places. So think about this. Your kids can't go to school and get vaccinated. That's what I'm saying. Is like there's there's already been mandates. So I'm a little bit confused as to why this is so different, considering you see the effects. Like, I, I, I think that's what I'm confused. The facts are made up. And then if I get catch it and I'm still alive, then clearly it wasn't that bad. It's like, no, bitch, you got lucky. Yeah. Because there's some other people who ain't made it at the hospital using my oxygen and ICU type of shit. And I'm just here to say, if you were one of those people saying, fuck this, I ain't wearing a mask and all that shit, and you caught it, and then you either a to die or you dead, I don't feel bad. That's like Cat Williams said, is you see a lion or a tiger in a motherfucking zoo, and you think it's a great idea to jump over the motherfucking uh, wall or gate to get close to that thing, and you die, don't expect me to be like, oh, that's so sad. No, nigga, what the fuck did you expect it to do? Just sit there like there's a human in there, and I'm not gonna eat it. No, bitch, you just be all the lungs again. Nope. So I don't feel bad. You had the opportunity to and make sure that the shit that happened to you didn't happen to you. And when it did, it was too fucking late. Now you talk about, can I get the shot? Bitch, it don't work that way. No. I saw like you jump in there with a tiger. And you're like, oh, can somebody pass me a lighter? The fuck I look like? No. Yeah, well, that's what I mean, though. Is like that, And that's what I'm saying. I'll pass them straight to the bank with this. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to say is like, I don't need to know your shit. And if you really don't want to get made fun of, and I'm sorry to say this, because people are going to do it. People are going to be like movies. Like, I honestly don't give a shit. Like, if you die, you die. I mean, unless you're, we're close in some way, it doesn't necessarily matter to me. But, and I'm not, I, and here's the thing. I'm not putting my energy towards talking shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do it for a podcast and I do it for a living. I do it for the sponsorships and I do it for the grant. It was a song. But yeah. I am not taking my spare time or time I could be do, using to be productive to talk shit about somebody who died because they were being stupid. That's your dumb ass fault. That's your dumb ass everything. Your stupidity led, led to your death. That's your own damn fault. And that's what I mean. It's like, I'm not going to cry energy into that. Like, if you were stupid, you're stupid. That's not that's not up to me for to decide how not stupid you're going to be. Damn, nigga, you... I don't honestly care, because again, at this point in my life, it does not affect me. And I don't know if it actually affects anybody. Until you make a stupid choice that gets you dead. Sorry. For real. Sorry, I can't... <laughs> I, just, I don't have the time. I honestly do not have the time. I do. So I'm a last. Unless it's monetized, I don't have the time. <laughs> I'm a last. Get it? Wait, Cream, bitch. Be last. Cream. Cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar, billion. Oh. Oh. All right. With that said, if you didn't learn anything. Shut the fuck up. Don't be an asshole. Don't be a dick. Get the vaccine if you ain't gotten it. Don't judge people because they decided to get it. Because if you're doing that and you made it this far in the podcast, let's well, fuck you. If not, cool. Live your life. Be happy. Be smart. Read a book. Go catch a movie. Take a walk in the park. Go do shit with your friends or family. No. I don't give a fuck. Just leave me the fuck alone, bitch. <laughs> and give your number to bear. Because we're doing the Feed the Bear program. Yeah, gotta feed me. I mean, the red bullshit. <laughs> I, I don't think he needs any more kids. <laughs> he about to get some step kids. Because I mean. All right. With that said, uh, like us, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, follow us on, on Instagram, uh, Patreon. Support us if you want to see the extra shit that I cut out. Uh, and do you. Deuces. Peace, bitches. See you.